and you need to be able to just all of a sudden have a sudden burst of energy. If something happens, all of a sudden we gotta move. So you might be standing just completely stagnant for three hours, laying outside of an apartment, and all of a sudden, boom, it's time to kick the door, breach the door, you know, do all kinds of things, get in the house, take it over as quick and fast and as efficiently as we can. <laughs> So getting our heart rate up is a good thing too, not only for just getting it there, but when our adrenaline dumps, everything goes, it kind of teaches us how to control our breathing so we can control our shooting, you know, so we can control our decision making, all of that. It all kind of works physiologically and mentally all collectively together. Uh, we always say, you fight like you train. So you have to come out and when you're, here, you're lifting weights, doing whatever you're doing, you're thinking about the worst case scenario, where you're gonna be, what door you're gonna be kicking down. And if you don't train that way, when it comes to fight time, you're gonna be exactly how you were in your training. So you come out strong, you come out fast. Do the best possible job you can. Man, get a heart rate up, get a, get a little bit of strength in there too. Just kind of continue working, see, uh, see where we're at, see how things are going. And uh, kind of a cardio slash strength combination. So we got a little heavier deadlift, a little bit of lighter deadlift. Here we'll do a rack press, just kind of a shoulder press up and down the rack. Uh, then we'll go to the sled push that Nico's standing on. Then we'll do a backwards sled pull that's right behind Nico. And Lopez is over here getting us a stone. We'll carry that with us. And we'll do Atlas stone carries. So we're trying to do everything we can flexibility wise, really test these pants out. See if they're gonna do what we need. Half the pants we wear, we always blow the crotch out of. And so this elastic inside here, the stretching material, man, is phenomenal. So we're gonna give it a test and see if it'll hold up. Anytime I'm lifting weight like that, you're not going for pure strength, you're not going for pure speed, you want something kind of in between. Something that motivates me is I'm just trying to put it that kind of stress in my body that I know I'm going to have in a, in a difficult situation. Not just the mental stress, but you're almost trying to numb yourself to what's going on after a while with the reps. You're not focusing on how heavy it is, you're just trying to push through as much as you can. The more mentally invested you are in it, the less physically involved you become. You, you don't feel the stress, you don't feel how heavy it is. And that's exactly how it is when you're when you're in the fight. You're not worried about, oh, this vest is heavy, or I've been holding this rifle a long time, or you know, this is a big ass door we gotta kick down. You're just gonna do it. Ow. mental toughness it starts right here it starts when you wake up it starts when you come to the gym um, and you just get numb to how physically challenging it is and focus on the mental aspect of it that's what pushes you through it's nice coming down being a wide open space plenty of air it's a new atmosphere get your brain peaking you really start getting into the workout not focusing on What's around you, who's around you. Um, just trying to better yourself, you know.
So our last deal is what we call a downed officer rescue, but we can do it with anybody. Obviously, today's day and age with all the shootings and people getting shot, taken down, and active shooters barricading in houses and certain things, we obviously want to use our armored car as a barrier between us and them. Swoop in real quick and practice just grabbing everybody, scooping them up, and getting the heck out of there as fast as we can. Yeah, man, it's just we really got to be prepared for anything. I mean, we were last night, we were all crawling into bed. I'm getting into bed, it's about 10 30, getting ready for the day, and you know, Pager goes off and we've got an aggravated robbery suspect that came out of Dallas and they're in our city. And that's roll out of bed, it's cold outside, put on the long johns, get geared up, and respond as fast as possible. The whole team comes together and handle business.